When museums in Iraq were destroyed during the Iraqi war, many people in the United States heard about it on the news. Farouk Hassan was in Baghdad when it happened, and he lost part of himself that day. He fled the war for the United States, leaving behind his homeland and a reputation as one of Iraq's most prized artists. It's a far cry from his five-bedroom mansion in Baghdad. Farouk Hassan turns an already tiny apartment kitchen into his art studio. When I work, I like to hear music. A classic, all the classic. But as long as he has canvas and paint, Farouk is satisfied. I feel inside my, me, inside my soul. That this, this painting is the only one here. It's the only thing in here. So actually, I don't feel that I'm, it's a small place. I feel just me and the painting. Without skipping a beat, Farouk carries forward the art career he started more than 50 years ago. I try to test every, uh, many kind of style when I was uh, young and uh, I continue. Over the past 50 years in Iraq, Farouk mastered so many styles so diverse, you might think the work came from several different artists. His work hung in galleries in London, Amman, Jordan, and at home in Basra and Baghdad. The Iraqi government contracted with Farouk to design more than 80 different stamps. The people of Iraq knew the art of Farouk Hassan. In 2010, Farouk fled to the United States and left behind all of his work and his fame. It's like losing yourself. Yeah, of course. But I, I try to renew myself. Farouk took his paintings to the Geezer Gallery in Multnomah, where curators embraced his art immediately. Well, without a doubt, he was extremely experienced. Uh, his layout, his form, design, color, it was magnificent. He is into that master's quality, uh, obviously a lifetime of, of artwork. The gallery is hanging Farouk's solo exhibition. He is flourishing, and uh, what, a, what a thrill to be a part of that. Today, Farouk's paintings strike a similar central theme. I want to create a, a beautiful painting. The first thing I choose, the women. The women is beautiful, of course, they're beautiful. I believe that the women is the origin of the life. You'll find examples of veiled women in Farouk's earlier work. Today, Farouk has done away with the veil. This woman is the truth. Uh, the truth is open, but the untrue is covered. Cover their mind, cover their brain. Here, indeed, I feel complete freedom without any uh, feeling of uh, something who watch me, what I do, and what I paint, or what I think. Here, I have freedom. I have freedom here. Once a national treasure of Iraq, Farouk Hassan starts over as a complete unknown in a new country and begins the process of rebuilding his reputation. To see more Farouk's work, visit geezergallery.com slash gallery. And that wraps it up for this edition of Detroit Performs. For more information on arts and culture, visit detroitperforms.org, where you'll find featured videos, blogs, and upcoming information on arts events. Until next Tuesday, I am DJ Oliver. Thanks for watching, guys.